Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at the DIY Watch Club uh, watch. Well, this is one of their models. They have, <clears throat> I think, at least 10 models on the website. Uh, most of them appear to be sold out. In fact, this one here is sold out as well. But they do have a, a version of this with a sapphire crystal and a black bezel. I'm not sure if that bezel is uh, ceramic or aluminum. That detail is not really clear. Now this one appears to be aluminum though. And as I hinted, this is a mineral crystal. If I were to buy one of these myself, I would go for the sapphire upgrade. So the price on this one, I believe was $295. This was actually put together by Random Rob and then he sent it out as a tour watch. So I jumped on the opportunity to check this out. If you do buy one of these, it comes with a, uh, a kit that you can use the tools and the hands and everything to put this together. The crystal is already in the case along with the chapter ring. So you don't need a crystal press and then everything else you just basically assemble yourself. Um, the handset you need to put on so they give you a second handset. You can go check out his video, this uh, random Rob. Just uh, look up the DIY watch uh, club. So this particular one here, this has actually the model on this is DWC-D01A. And sorry, the uh, Sapphire version is $328. This one again is $295. The I'd, I'd rather have a coin edge bezel than this um, knurled bezel, but you know it looks different. So that's uh, that's a bonus. It does have some back play to it, but the bezel it, it feels good turning it. There's I mean there's no up and down play. It feels pretty solid, other than that little bit of back play. You can hear this thing when I'm turning it or not. But overall, it's a nice looking watch. It comes with this um, parachute strap, and this is a DWC parachute strap. It has C3 Super Luminova. Uh, blue. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is an aluminum bezel insert. It is engraved though and the printing is, is down in that engraving. So it's a little more complicated than just a normal anodized bezel such as uh, the one on the SKX here. I'm here for size reference. The size on this watch is a 41 millimeter case. So it's a good size watch for my wrist. Let's look at the movement on here. Again, this is the Miyota 8250 movement. It says 8205 silver. I'm not sure if that's the color of the movement or the grade of the movement. But it is hand winding and it is hacking. In my unboxing, I could tell it was a Miyota, but I didn't know which specific uh, variation of the Miyota movement this was. So it is in fact the 8250. I've never had one of those before. Most of the Miyota movements I handle are the, um, the 9 series. 9015, for example. So it is a signed crown. It doesn't have drilled lugs. It is a mix of polished and brushed surfaces. It feels really lightweight. I'm sure that's just a combination of the strap. Not nearly as heavy as the SKX there. I don't know what did my other SKX. I have another one with... Uh, here it is. Yeah, this even feels heavier than uh, this guy here, but it does have 316L stainless steel. Uh, 120 click bezel. So let's get this on wrist. Oh, sorry, it does have a screw down crown. I don't know what the water resistance 
rating is on this. So there it says on the back, DIY Watch Club. Uh, 200 meter water resistance. So it is a dive, or at least a dive style watch. All right, let me get this on wrist. I have not yet mastered putting these on, but let's see if I can do it here on camera. If not, I may have to rest it up against my chest here. Oh, look at that. I actually got it on. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I didn't spend much time wearing this, but I do like these straps. They have a bit of stretch to them. I uh, can probably actually tighten this some more. Yeah, there we go. So there it is on my six and a half inch wrist. So let me know what you think of this. If it's something to be interested in is uh, buying a kit and putting it together yourself. I am kind of interested in it, but um, I don't know if I'd buy one of these for myself or not. Now that I've been able to experience this, it seems like a nice idea. If you don't have the tools already and you want to uh, put something together yourself, I, I think it's a pretty good option for that. All right, let me get the lights and I'll check out the loom compared to, uh, let's do it against this SKX here. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so it looks like this is actually a loomed bezel insert. I did not realize that. The loom on the bezel is not that great by eye, and it is a different color from the handset and the indices. But it actually does have a uh, decent amount of loom. If there was more loom applied to the handset, it would uh, obviously be brighter. It's, uh, it's pretty comparable to the Seiko Lumabrite. So that will do it for this video. Um, as always, thank you for watching. And if you have not already, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.